All right, guys and girls, it's Jernigam here. Do you think Lenzin Benzi and Dan Hauser are going to be working on the new GTA 6? And Jeffrey Cox reckons they are. Um, so hopefully it will be some very good news if they are working on GTA 6. Because we're getting a remastered of GTA 5 uh, in graphics enhanced edition on the PlayStation 5 soon. PS5 will be out next month on the for most of the fans and the subscribers that buy PS5s. I mean, there's a lot of people that have bought PS5s. There'd be people that can't afford PS5s. There'd be people like... Uh, um, who can't just buy one because they've run out of stock. So in December time, there may be more PS5s to buy. Same with, Xbox, same with Xbox. I'm just hoping that they're going to be making GTA 6 because Rockstar should have made GTA 6, but Lenzi Benzi's got his own company and killed everything. Who knows, this may be the break that all those guys and girls need and the people that support Rockstar. We need another GTA 6, which we've been all asking for, but they'd rather give us a remastered trailer of GTA 5 2013. Disappointing. We need to see the GTA 6 trailer. Why can't they show that? Would be nice, but uh, will it happen? Probably not. We'll be waiting for paint to dry, probably. It's just the way the world is sometimes. When we want things, we don't seem to get them at the right time. Or... They want to do what they want to do. One of those things. It's talking about the five-tier system of coronavirus in the countries. Edinburgh, Edinburgh Glasgow, and Stirling, and Ayrshire uh, are getting more restrictions. So I had to put that in quickly on the phone to tell people if they don't know already, more restrictions in the area. There's like 80 places in the UK already under lockdown. And you can see here, I'll put it on now so you guys can go listen to it. Rooms could have to get even more severe. We are, as of now, this is Scotland, Nicholas, Nicholas Sturgeon. Cases are still rising and the situation we face is fragile. Across Europe, the pandemic is accelerating. So I cannot rule out a move back to nationwide restrictions in the next few weeks, including at level four. Not one of the country's 32 council areas has been placed in the lowest tier. Dealing with this virus has always been a balancing act between protecting the health of the population and that... This rubbish needs to be put in the bin here in, in a minute. I've eaten the sandwiches, you can say, see. Quite simply, these restrictions are driving them out of business. Richard Hewitt and his family sank everything they had into this restaurant on Edinburgh's famous Royal Mile. They're now faced with losing everything. I feel sorry for my wife because I thought coming to this day, selling the house to finance the restaurant, she says, well, it's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay, we'll, we'll get that back. Three years later, and it's like, we're still renting, and because we can't get back into the housing market, and our investment has gone. In the Lanarkshire town of Wishaw, they've narrowly avoided going into the highest tier of restriction. Jeweller Stephen McGee can keep trading for now, but is adamant he will defy any future instruction to stop. I'm going to stay open. I'm going to stay open. I'm going to stay open because my business needs to stay open. I don't uh, know the impact. I don't know what will come up. If I can afford the fine, I will pay the fine and I will try to stay open during that. If the thing's too expensive and I'm forced to, clear, to close, so be it. But you know what I mean? A lot of businesses are not holding back up. Nicola Sturgeon has acknowledged that everyone here is tired of making sacrifices, but she's urging people to dig deep so COVID can be controlled. End of Brady Sky News in Edinburgh. You're watching Sky News tonight. Do stay with us. Coming up next, the latest on Jeremy Corbyn's suspension from the Labour Party following his reaction to a report into anti-Semitism under his leadership. <coughs> As European leaders announce renewed national lockdowns, pressure is on the Prime Minister to do the same. We'll be discussing if that is the right course of action for the UK. And we'll also have the latest from Florida as the presidential candidates battle over the crucial Sunshine State. Well, guys and girls, hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a comment, share it with your friends. I'll be back to do a different video later. See you in the next one. Peace.